Welcome back Team Fever, back again with another video. I know I don't usually vlog, but for at least this week I'm about to be a vlogger because I'm going to St. Louis for the first time and it's on a business trip for my job. If y'all don't know, I work at Amazon. So I'm on my way to the airport right now and I'm about to just become a vlogger. I don't really know how to vlog. I don't watch vlogs, so just bear with me. I don't know how this go turn out. So I might be nervous. I might be different. I don't know, but let me know. I'll see y'all later. I'm supposed to be going to St. Louis for work for three weeks. So I got my bag packed with two weeks worth of clothing because I want to go to the mall in St. Louis. It's going to be my first time there. And I got my carry-on, which pretty much just has a little bit of clothing in it. It's not it's not much inside here, but it's really, I'm going to put my laptop in there. And hopefully, like, I can carry it because it's the air. It's really light. I don't want it to break. But see y'all at the airport, or at least on the way. I don't know. I don't know how these vlogs work. So I made it to the airport and I met up with Elena. Is that it? Alana. Alana. Elena, Alana. I'm gonna cry. Same thing. I'm gonna cry. So at least I got a little buddy to board with. It's her first time. Can you tell them what happened? <laughs> First time flying by myself. May or may not have thrown up, but it's okay. Because security walked her to the front of the line. I got escorted to the front, a baggage check, and security. Yes. So yes. maybe it's worth it to throw up every single time you travel. <laughs> Let's do it on the way back. <laughs> We are expecting a very, very full flight out this afternoon, so please do us a favor. Place your smaller items, it needs to be completely all the way underneath the seat. So I officially landed in St. Louis. I'm new to this vlog and stuff, so I think it's awkward that people just looking at me talk to a phone. 
but they probably used to it. I don't really know where I'm going, so I'm just following somebody that got off at the same plane as me to see if they know where to go to get our bag. We're picking up our bags now. All right, y'all, so me and Alana got our cars. That's my car, that's Alana's car. Alana, how you like your car? Well, I know you wanted a Jeep, but. I mean, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. <laughs> I'm not used to the blue. Yeah, because the color, it really does matter. <laughs> I mean, it stands out, so at least I'll know which car is mine. Yeah, I like this. All right, I'll see you. You too. And that's my car right here. Now we're going to the hotel. So I just got to the hotel. It is mad hot here in St. Louis. I think it's like 95 degrees. It said that it was 87, but I don't believe it. Yeah. So this is the car. I'm about to go into the hotel. I was sitting in the car for a while. But I think I'm about to go in. It's still so early, so I'm about to go in and just, I don't know what I'm about to do though. So one more time before I go in. This is the car that my job got me. Really nice to me. It's better than the car I got at home. It's actually better than all three of the cars I had. And that's Alana's car. That's the one she got. Actually, I like, I think I might like hers better. All right, y'all, so I finally arrived inside the hotel. I've been in here for literally less than one minute and I'm just showing y'all that this place is really nice. It looked like a little studio apartment, if I'm honest. So, it's the kitchen, microwave, stove, no oven, well, yeah, no oven, that's a cabinet. <laughs> Um, don't really know what that is. I, I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, is there coffee in I don't know. Well, sink, dishwasher. It come with dishes? It's gotta have dishes if it got a dishwasher, Lorenzo. What are you from with you? Okay. I even got pots and pans. Can fry some chicken in here. If I knew how to cook. There's a freezer. Okay. Refrigerator. This place is just like an apartment you even got a little dining room table to eat at you know i only know one person well i think i know like four people here actually that little couch uh table is that a table i don't know so that's, uh, i don't know a table and seat i guess tv i had to call them and make sure they had an hdmi cord because yes this place is so and then this bed oh it's nice and good yep. And I didn't come over here, so it's a little closet, it's nice ironing board, me, towels, a sink. So the bath, the sink is outside of the bathroom. A light, um, where's the light? Okay, as soon as I found the light. There's that. I was about to say, I think the light blew. Um, but no. Toilet. Yep. This place is nice. I think I'm going to need a new light bulb, though, because that's making noise. I don't know about that. But other than that, oh, uh, whatever crap, whatever that is. Oh, it's our ceiling fan. Nice. I wonder if they got cable on this TV. <laughs> this just makes me want to move so soon. Have my own place. Like if I if my studio apartment was this, I'd be alright. I like it. Well, oh my god, it does have cable. Well, I don't know why it's moving by itself though. But yeah. Oh, let's see. I know St. Louis is not really like a a city that you would look for a view with, but I guess I have a view of another hotel. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, I'm not really good at this vlog and stuff. I really don't like when the camera's facing me because I feel like the camera's just a full screen, like, close-up of my face. It's kind of awkward. I like it here. I might just stay the rest of the day in here. I want... So, actually, maybe I should do an actual video now. All right, y'all. I don't really remember if I said that I was a computer desk right here, so I just wanted to come back on and say, look, it's a computer desk room key right there 
If y'all wanna come visit me, I'm in St. Louis and my room number is... All right, y'all, so sorry about this angle, but I, I had to figure out some way how I was gonna talk to y'all. I actually did bring my regular camera, but I really don't even think I'm gonna use it. I just wanna do this, this vlog stuff with y'all, so... But I guess I'll tell y'all about my whole day. Now that I'm finally inside, inside this hotel, so I got to the airport, it was fine. First time flying by myself, I was really nervous about being inside the airport because I was just thought I'd get lost or something, but everything went kind of well. My mama, my mom came in with me until I got to the security check. So once I got in the security check line, then I was by myself. It went really smooth. The only thing was I got all my stuff, you know, you had to take your shoes off, take your jacket off, all that stuff. And I started walking away and I was like, wait a minute, I'm forgetting something. I forgot my laptop and I never saw it come out. So I went back up and right when I went up, the security lady was like, whose laptop? Like it was inside the case. I actually had two laptops. I had my MacBook Air and my Chromebook. I got like four laptops all together, but I brought those two because I'm just extra. I don't know why I brought both of them. I'm not even going to use them. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so I said mine. I waved my hand and she said, uh, you supposed to separate them. Like it was two inside one case. So basically she said, I got to send it back through. And you know, it was simple as that. She sent it back through. I got them all and I went on to my plane. Now, um, Alana actually told me that I could change my seat like days ago because of what we had. I don't know. Anyway, I changed my seat and I got like a security, um, exit, emergency exit. Ow. And why did I just bring this part up? Why did I bring this part up? Oh, yeah. So I changed my seat because on the plane, um, when I looked it up to change my seat, I noticed that because I just don't want a middle seat, but I noticed that there wasn't no middle seats. It was only two rows of two. So I, my grandma said, so I was like, I'm not going to change it because as long as I'm not in the middle, I don't mind being by the window. I'm just not going to look at it. And I don't mind like an aisle seat is probably my favorite. So she said, my grandma said, you probably do want to change your seat because if you're in the back of the plane, that if you only got two rows, that means it's a small, or two seats, that means it's a, it's a small plane and they have a lot of turbulence. And in my head, I'm like, I can tell why. That made complete sense. So I changed my seat. I got the emergency exit seat, which all four of those in that row were empty. So I got one on the aisle, just in case somebody wanted to sit next to me or got that seat. And I, it actually worked. I changed my seat and I ended up right there. My mom said the same thing. Uh, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a lot of turbulence, and I'm scared of heights. I don't, I don't like none of that stuff. Really hate flying, honestly. So thank God when I got on the plane, nobody even was sitting next to me. By the way, the person next to me again, like on the other side in the other row too, he also was going for Amazon, but I didn't really know him, and nobody was sitting next to him either. So the lady, the flight attendant, actually came up to us and said, you know, you three, because I guess it was like. Oh, four exits or whatever and she said y'all are gonna have to assist me with basically emergency exit and when i clicked that seat i had to fill some stuff out or check yes and say that i'm okay with it uh, you have to meet some criteria and all this crap but anyway i said i shook my head yes he said yes and she was like i have to have y'all say it verbally so i had to say verbally that i um sorry about this weird camera angle I don't know if I said that in the beginning. But anyway, when I went on the plane, it was so tiny. I don't know if y'all can tell by when we went in, but it was a small plane. That was the smallest. Like the aisle was like, you literally just had enough room to walk. That's it. A lot of people couldn't even fit their luggage inside the, the overhead thing. It was just, it was a really, really small plane for real. And I just thought it was going to be bumpy as ever. But during takeoff, yeah, it was a little bit, you know, a little bit of turbulence. But then... It really was fine. It really was a smooth ride. And on the thing, I knew I know Missouri is close to Michigan. So I knew that it was going to be a short plane ride. The thing said 30 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes. But on our thing, take off. At, like, we're supposed to take off at 1230 and we're supposed to land at 103. So it looked like it's 30 minutes. But it's because the time goes back an hour inside St. Louis, inside Missouri. But... What happened was when we actually took off finally, because they say we, you take off at 12.30, but really they talked and all this crap and the plane just was driving around. Really, when we got in the air, it feel like we went up and we came right back down. Like the plane ride was an hour. It was literally an hour. Like right when they started, so right when you get on a plane, once you get 10,000 feet, they say you can turn your phone or whatever, blah, blah. Right when the lady Pat finished going down the aisle to pass out snacks, the guy on the thing said, we got 20 minutes left. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is so fast. 
plane was good. No turbulence. Everything was good. It was fine. I even, when y'all see me recording those videos, I'm not looking out the window. I'm really just holding it. And I do look over a little bit just to just, when I'm about to pull it back. Because I don't want to look out the plane. Like, even like, I made a mistake and looked over at one point because I saw only clouds on my side. And on the other window, it was like going down like the plane was like this i didn't know they did that like psh, i was scared y'all for real so on the ride on when we were about to land those 20 minutes it was shaky the lady was like walking down the aisle and there was a man the man flight attendant was behind her collecting trash and she was like shaking so much like we were like Ooh, like everything like it's a good thing nobody was sitting next to me because i was scared as ever going down like it, it was scary it was bumpy it was it was rough going back down but uh yeah the flight was good though they gave us cookies and uh, soda and all that good stuff so Speaking of soda, I'm in Missouri, and I remember, so I got a friend that lived in Missouri back from when I used to be a gamer, and I remember when I used to say pop all the time, and he used to say, what the heck is pop? You mean popcorn? That's kind of funny, because now I'm here, so I, I probably, I don't know. It's funny. And also, do they have Fago? I don't know. I don't know. But that's it. Oh, and now, like, okay, so then Alana's friend who works here, and he already worked, he already was here, like, days ago, he actually picked us up from the airport. I just tagged along with them. He, so, we didn't have to take the shuttle. We took, we went right to the airport. He picked us up and drove us to the car rental place. We went to the car rental place. By the way, it was 95 degrees outside when we went out. It was burning up hot. Um, car rental place, uh, we... Uh, we didn't get to pick our car. Alana kind of did get to pick hers because I just got a random one and he was, a, or Alana was about to get a random one, but she said, can I get a Jeep? Like she actually spoke up and said something because she wanted a Jeep because she drive a Jeep or something, something like that. And the lady looked for a Jeep for her, but they didn't have one. And then she said, what well, can I get that one? And she pointed to one and they were like, yeah, they gave her that one. We were actually supposed to get like a mid-sized car, but they didn't have any. So we got, we lucked up and we got some nice cars. I got everything together and took off, used GPS, got to the hotel. The hotel, it, honestly, when I got here, the parking lot was not that full. And I think this hotel is really nice. So I was kind of, well, I guess it is like a Saturday in the middle of the day. So people probably out. But yeah, it was like i got like a front parking spot alana i see she got a front parking spot mark got a front parking spot like it seemed like the parking lot was kind of empty so i sat in my car for a while just you know checking snapchat and everything catching up with everything and yeah and then i came in i went to the desk and uh the lady said so that's it right now it's so early it's, on, it's not even three o'clock it's 252 so i don't really know what i'm gonna do I don't know. Oh, well, uh, I need some food first. But I don't know if this is how vlogs go. Is this too long? Because I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. I'm going to just end it right here, and I will see y'all later. This is my first vlog. Tell me if y'all if I'm doing good. I don't know. I actually forgot to mention that the lady at the desk, she also said that this hotel has, um, so it has free breakfast bar or buffet, buffet. Um, Monday through Friday from seven or six to nine, and then Sunday and Saturday um, from like six to ten, because uh, they like to let y'all sleep, let us sleep in or something. And then they also have like a on Wednesdays and Thursdays they have like a a, a friend a meet and greet something like that downstairs in the same place where it's like it's in the evening time where you have like they have like little snacks and beer and wine. And then they also have a shuttle that's free all day. All you gotta do is go down there and you can pretty much, they'll take you anywhere within five miles. So if you don't feel like driving, you can take the shuttle. Uh, she said, you can go to the casino and, um, but I don't have friends here, so. Well, I got one, but um, yeah, that's it. That's it, that's the only thing I forgot to mention. I just thought I'd mention that. I guess this will be posted tomorrow because the day one vlog, so I actually have to post all the way until midnight, right? Is that the way that works? I don't know. But I actually kind of mad because I brought my PlayStation 4 and the TV. I called this hotel while I was still in Michigan because one time I went to Vegas and I brought my something and like basically it didn't have an HDMI cord on the TV, so I couldn't even use it. And now I'm here and this, I called, he said, yeah, it has an HDMI cord. 
Well, they have a HDMI cord, but you can't turn it to the HDMI channel. So that's pretty crappy because I brought my whole PlayStation 4 and I got to take it back too. So that's just a big space in my luggage that could have been something else. So kind of upset about that. But yeah, I'm just, you know, got my two laptops, my MacBook Air, the new one. I don't know if I even posted that video where I got a new computer. And my Chromebook. So, yeah, just chilling out. I really haven't done anything, really. I went to get something to eat. I didn't vlog that part because I was just really hungry when I first got back. So, I just wanted to get, like, the closest restaurant, which was Burger King. Actually, it was, like, one minute away, literally. I don't know why on the map it said three minutes away, but I literally just turned. It was one minute away, probably less than one minute away. But, yeah. So that's what I ate, and now I'm just, like, doing nothing. But I really just, like, I want to go to Walmart and just get some stuff because in here, it's kind of weird. Like, I cannot, like, just go get me a cup of water right now because there's no ice inside of here. At least I don't think it is. Let's go check. Like, when I opened that freezer, it was nothing in there. So, like, I can't just get, like, a, gr a glass of water. Or I can't just, like, get, a, like, I can go buy some drinks from downstairs, but, like... Yeah, it's no ice. It's no ice in here. So, yeah. That's one. Oh, and I also, I did run into somebody on the elevator when I was coming back from the, um, when I was coming back. Hold on. Should I turn this around? Hold on, y'all. So, on the airport, I, or <laughs> on the elevator when I was coming back from my Burger King, I ran into somebody who had the luggage. And I just started talking to them. I said, where are you from? And they said, I, I, I was expecting them to say Michigan, but they actually said Houston. And they actually have the same shift as me at Amazon. Did I ever tell y'all why I was here? The reason why we're here is because Amazon is opening up a new building, or they have opened up a new building, because some people already been here. And St. Louis, and y'all will see that on my day two, my day two vlog. So stay tuned for that. But basically, Amazon has opened up a brand new building in St. Louis, and they have this thing called it Away Team, which people like me, we go to help launch this building what i'm doing is teaching some yeah, it's a long thing if you don't work there it's like basically i'm teaching the new people which is jesus christ this is so awkward okay i gotta end this y'all i gotta end this basically i met somebody from houston they're doing the same thing as me they work nights nice. their room is not that far down i mean we're not friends or nothing. i'm not friends with pretty much anybody here i know people well I guess I'm kind of friends with Shantice because she Shantice was in my video. If y'all don't know, check that out. BET Awards predictions. But yeah, that's about it. That's it, y'all. I think it's like 7 o'clock, 7.26. I decided that I am going to go to Walmart and like get some stuff because literally inside my hotel is literally nothing. Like I was just showing y'all, there's not anything. So like if I wanted some water, I couldn't get it. Like if I wanted like like some cereal in the morning i can't get it like i can't eat anything so and i don't work till 6 p.m tomorrow so i would have had time but like i don't know how the sleep schedule is about to go for real so because i never worked midnight so that's something i didn't even tell y'all about but i'm working a midnight shift so i go in at 6 p.m i don't get off till like 5 a.m so it's gonna be kind of weird so i decided i'm gonna go to walmart real quick so going to the local st louis walmart.